everybody, it's Singing Simmer here and welcome back to my channel and today we're doing a speed build um, of a garden centre and cafe and um, I decided to do this build because I wanted to play around with the glass roofs and kind of make a huge big massive greenhouse <laughs> um, and essentially that is what this build is, it's just like a huge greenhouse um, using different sort of styles of roofing um, and just kind of playing around with that and seeing which ones I like the best. Um, this little bit in the middle there, I kind of wanted that to be like, you know, like going up and down, um, but I didn't really achieve that. I did, see I practiced a bit and I managed to get it in the practice and then when I tried to do it in the actual build, um, I couldn't really get the effect that I wanted, but I still like the kind of like bumpy um, roof, but I wanted a more of a smooth transition, so I guess I'll need to try that again in a different build. You know, I kind of wanted it to be like waves, like going up and down and um, all glass but then I think what happened was when I was doing the practice it didn't really line up with the windows as well or something like that or it only worked with the other type of roofing like the one that's the gabled roofing I think it's called I can't remember right now um but yeah and then but with that you didn't get the glass on either side as well and you still had to have like um walls in there as well so it didn't really give me the effect that I wanted but I'll mess around with that again and see if I can get the effect that I want and then I'll do another build with that um, roofing on it because it's quite a modern style so it could be used like on any sort of build, like modern build I guess. Um, but yeah, this is a garden centre and um, I'm going to be using it in my Let's Play as well because, um, well obviously my Let's Play is all about seasons and in that they're going to be visiting the garden centre to get some gardening supplies. So that's why I kind of wanted to build it and then I decided that I would do a little speed build on it and share it on the gallery as well. So it is on the gallery. I did go in and um, say everything for sale. So I think that's how you get it to work so that, um, you know, that when you download it from the gallery, things are already set for sale. I think I read that, but I'm, I've not tested it out yet, so I don't know. So if you do download this, then please let me know down below in the comments if when you go in if everything's already set for sale or not um, because that would be interesting to know. Um, so yeah, it's basically a huge greenhouse and I kind of based it off the kind of garden centres that are around where I stay. Um, they're usually big buildings, um, sometimes like in the kind of countryside and they're either like made out of greenhouses or they're like all wooden or sometimes they're even like made of tents. Um, but this one I decided to do it as a greenhouse and usually they've got lovely cafes in them as well so I decided to add in a little cafe later on in the build as well. So at the entrance here I'm just putting like a nice wee garden area for people to sit and it kind of makes it a wee bit more appealing to go into as well because you know you see all the plants and um, you know you think oh there'll be nice plants inside here. <laughs> Not for me because I'd probably walk past that all those flowers and I'd be like actually have an anxiety attack because of wasps and things like that because I'm absolutely terrified of wasps. So walking past that little kind of pathway of flowers would make me feel really nervous. <laughs> um, so at the front here this is the beginning of the cafe. Well the cafe is going to be inside but there's going to be a little um, outdoor seating area for the warmer months. And um, there's also a little car park there as well. So I decided to put in the little fairy lights just to give it a little bit of um, ambience, I guess you could say, or ambience <laughs> at night time. You know, if you're coming in the evening time or even in the, the colder and the darker months, um, the, the darker seasons, it's going to be a little bit brighter and a little bit nicer to look at. Um, so yeah, I decided just to add that in as well. I thought that was a really nice touch and um, I can never get it always frustrates me when I'm doing those the light things you know the fairy lights because I can never get them to like line up exactly the way I want it I should probably start the build off with the lights and then build the build the rest of the building around it because I can never like get it exactly the way I want it and the proportion that I want it so that was the best I could do um in the time I was like when I was doing it um, so I just decided to stick with that and instead of putting a fence round, I just put little boxes of flowers. I thought that was a nicer effect than putting like a fence round it or whatever. Um, but yeah, when I was building this, my kids were all arguing with each other. So there was loads of big gaps in between and there's parts of it where I actually remember how I was feeling as I was building it. And it was very, I was very stressed out for most of this build because they were all arguing about 
everything I can't even remember but one of the oldest one was arguing because he didn't like his dinner you can see like I quickly saved it there because like I was like I have to deal with whatever is going on with these kids right now yeah the oldest one was moaning because he didn't like his dinner and then the twins were upset because like they've got I well we've, as a family we've got two iPads and it was mostly bought for the twins because um it helps them with their communication and things like that as well so um it was mostly bought for them really but my oldest son decided that he wanted a turn of it which he's entitled to do but he did have it for like three days straight and he has a playstation in his room he also has his own phone so it was a bit unfair for him to keep one of the ipads for such a long time and the twins like to go on and they go and play minecraft together like they have an ipad each and they go into a minecraft server or whatever however it works um <laughs> cool mum over here um but yeah so they're doing that or they play roblox so they were getting really upset because one of them had one ipad and the other one didn't have one and it was just causing a whole a ruckus in at my house and yeah so i was very very stressed out whilst i was building this build and um, probably every time i go into this lot or like look at this lot i'm going to be i'm going to be reminded of that very stressful time it's supposed to be a nice relaxing evening you know everyone was chilling out and i was doing a nice wee build we were all watching some tv together but no um that wasn't how it went out i, I was very very stressed and <laughs> so this little kind of octagon area here is going to be like it's kind of like I would say a conservatory but the whole thing is sort of like a conservatory um I can't actually think of what you would call that little area but I decided to go ahead and add in um like pattern pattern what patio um furniture in there and things like that as well and the kind of main bit this big rectangle bit here is going to be like the actual main part of the garden center um, so I'm just putting the lights in there. I decided to cut a lot of that out because I had to kind of move things around and change the, the planks at the top. And I actually saw, um, I was watching my friend Kelly Sim stream the other night. She was building a season's house and she was using the glass roofs and um, she was putting those little beams in and I thought that was a really, really good idea. And um, so I thought that would be, you know, the great idea to kind of put the lights in so thank you for that Lou that was a fabulous idea and um so yeah so that's what I did with that so it took a little bit of a, a while it took a while for me to get the kind of alignment right um so now I'm just on to the bathroom um I always forget to put bathrooms in or leave a space for bathrooms and then I was kind of struggling thinking where on earth would I put a bathroom <laughs> in a glass how like in a fully glass building um so when you go up like you can see into it because the ceiling's invisible but I did like I removed the ceilings on the rest of the build and kept the ceiling on this part even though all the built all the ceilings are um invisible anyway um or transparent um but I think the idea would be like you know like maybe there's glass a layer of glass on top of the rest of it then the glass roof would no, that would be taken away, sorry. So there'd be just the glass roof and nothing else on the rest of it. And then on the bathroom, it would be the glass ceiling and then the glass roofs. I guess that's what, the way it would be. Um, I'm not really sure, but that's what I imagined. So, I mean, you're still getting privacy as long as someone's not, like, skydiving above the bathroom, I guess. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so that was the bathroom. And then I'm just finishing off the kind of final details and the the cafe here um, I started putting up these little um wall decorations and then I found this um yeah that the plant thing the wall plant from Seasons and I was absolutely in love with it so I scaled them up a little bit and just added some chairs underneath them um so I thought that looked really nice I'm actually in love with those wall plants I think they're absolutely gorgeous um I've put them in some of my houses already and um, I'll probably, it'll be one of my favourite items to be using for like in future builds as well. So I thought having a cafe in a garden centre was like an essential thing. Because I mean, most garden centres that are kind of around where I stay, there always is a lovely cafe. Um, and usually they sell like home, like home baking and things like homemade jam and honey and things like that. Um, so I thought that'd be a nice little touch. I wish you could... Um, customize what the cafe sells you know like what kind of cakes and things like that it sells but I'm afraid we can't do that at the moment 
Um, so now moving on to the actual shop part of the garden centre. Um, so right now I'm just going to do the kind of front desk and using the sort of industrial style um, countertop here because I thought that gave it a nice sort of like garden looking feel, you know, like a shed sort of idea and just put these little um, wall plants at the back. Um, so they're like... They weren't set for sale, but I thought they would kind of give the idea of, you know, like different plants and things like that set for sale, um, give it a little bit of decoration. But as I said, yeah, they weren't set for sale, but most things that are going to be placed in a minute will be this kind of area. It's just like a display. Um, and on the countertops, I did go ahead and add like little tiny plants and things like that. And they are all set for sale and there'll be like seed packets and things like that as well. So I wanted to put like a few variations of each plant, um, well most of the plants anyway, I put like a few variations of them because, um, you know, maybe you're just popping in for a wee potted plant and you don't really know what colour you want. So for these ones that all kind of had the same colours of, the, um, sorry, the, like, the same swatches of the different plants, I decided to just put um, a couple of them down and then as I said there'd be some of the seed packets there so I put like the the first ones at the starter ones there um I do delete these seasonal ones and put them up at the back in a different section of the shop so I just kind of wanted this to be like you know like as you were like leaving you know your your last minute things you just pick up as you're leaving so that was the kind of an idea of that one um or of that area and um this area as well just putting different plants down and you know as I was building it I was thinking I wonder if you can sell like plants that you've already like the seeds that you've already planted um but I didn't try it out so maybe I'll try that out and um maybe put like a smaller like a like, kind of local garden shop and um, like farm shop or something like that and if you can sell like plants then um you know plants you've already planted then that would be a good idea because then you could have like so many different variations of plants all around it would actually look really nice um, if anybody knows if you can do that you can let me know as well because I've never tried it before and um, so I decided as well to put in a little Christmas section because most of these um, garden centres usually have a little Christmas section and then like nearer Christmas time they have like an absolutely huge like the whole almost the whole shop's taken up with it Um, but so I decided just to add it in anyway I thought it was a nice little touch so there's some like um, wreaths on the wall and the garlands and um, a couple of trees that you can buy to decorate and then I decided as well later on in the video to go in and add a couple more different decorations like um, some statues and things because um, then after like I was starting to place things down and build things I was like you know there's a lot of just there's not as many plants as what I would like to put down I don't want it to just be like hundreds and hundreds of different plants because most garden centers also have like patio furniture and um, outdoor toys and things like that as well so I wanted to make a section that was just for that too so there is plenty of plants but there's also like garden furniture and things like that as well um, but I did like the idea of doing this little Christmas um, or winter fest section because I feel like you know it's a nice wee touch you know if you want it's, and it's good for gameplay as well you can family can go and buy a tree together and things like that so I thought, I thought that was pretty cute in this little back section here, there's going to be some of the different seeds. So I guess, like, you know, you need to now you you need to unlock the seeds um with your gardening level. But if you wanted to kind of have a quick way of doing that, you could just come here and have your Sims buy the seeds that they're looking for. So I think I placed down all the different seeds that you can get, and um, the only thing is I only put one of each. So you'd need to wait for the owner of the shop to restock them if you wanted to buy multiple ones. Um, and then these ones I decided just to put in a couple of different potted plants and things like that as well um, that you can just buy for outside or for inside your home and things like that um, and just kind of put the ones that I tend to use most often um, and ones that actually fitted on the shelves as well and then I decided just to add in some of the wall plants as well my favourite ones there and um, some different variations of other ones as well because not everyone has the same taste. I didn't want to like fill the whole walls you know with everything because I thought that would just be 
too much and I'd I don't know if it would end up being quite laggy or whatever so I just put a few variations of a couple of them but I mean if you did want to download this you could add in whatever ones you wanted as well or if you had a specific idea of what you wanted your sim to come and buy you could go and do that too. Um, so now we're just starting on the outside area um, of the garden centre so I've put some of the big planters here and um, a little patch that you can buy and some kids furniture and uh, well kids activity things um i do move things around a wee bit once i've kind of decided where things are going to go and how much of you know the different things that i needed so it's all fenced in so I, you know it's more like a shop because a shop wouldn't that just have random things for sale set out like next to some trees and like the forest <laughs> you know they would definitely have it um all enclosed and um, I decided to go and add, well they're me adding some Christmas stuff and I decided to add all the gnomes in as well. Maybe you'll come here for Harvest Fest and um, buy your gnomes. I mean, I don't, how do you feel about the gnomes? Like, I don't know if I'm going to be doing the gnome thing in my Harvest Fest. I've not decided yet. I kind of like to play like realistically, as, as realistic as the Sims can be. So I don't know, like, well, obviously I'm not even from America, I'm from Scotland and in Scotland and the UK, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving. So, um, so I know that's what Harvest Fest is meant to, um, represent. I mean, do you have gnomes at Thanksgiving? <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of anyone celebrating with gnomes. But, um, yeah, so I, I don't know if I'll be doing it because I don't like the idea of them coming and haunting me and breaking my stuff. Um, because the family that I'm playing with seasons just now is quite a huge family. They're quite hard to control at the best of times. Never mind adding in some scary gnomes. Um, but I added in some other ornaments as well. So I mean, maybe in another save, I'll do um, I'll do Thanksgiving, uh, well, Harvest Fest, sorry, with the gnomes. But my, I don't know if I'll be doing it in my LP. I've not decided yet. You can let me know if you'd like to see that, and um, I'll decide from there. Um, so just adding some final plants in, I am, the video is almost finished, so I'm just making sure um, that I'm adding in wee bits and bobs, so I thought that'd be like a kind of like, dis like a, bit of, a bit of fence, like a wooden display, I mean I guess I probably could have added in a fence and put them in with move objects, um, but yeah I've not actually tested this out in gameplay just yet, so hopefully um, they can purchase things and um, restock without any issues all I did was went and set everything for sale and then popped it up onto the gallery um, and as I said I hope that works so you can let me know if it doesn't and I'll see if there's another way I can do that but I sure, I'm sure that should set everything for sale so that you don't need to go in and buy the shop uh, with a other family you know so I think it should just be set as an NPC owning it hopefully that was the idea um, so in this little octagonal room we're going to have the patio furniture so because it's seasons I wanted to put in a few swatches of the new seasons furniture and then just some different sets of patio um, you know like collections because I know like when you go to these garden centres they have like random things sitting around and they also have some sets that you can just buy the whole thing for. Um, and same thing like for the table I only put like three chairs so like if you want to buy the full set from the shop you'd need to wait for them to restock it or you could just go home and buy the rest of them from the catalogue um, from Build and Buy. So I mean it's up to you how you want to do it but um, I didn't want to like fill if the shop with the same swatches of everything because that would be pointless and annoying in my opinion. So guys, that's just coming up to the end of the build here and I just realised that I built the majority of this build in the dark. I don't know why I did that. Maybe just to make it harder on myself. Who really knows? <laughs> but yeah, there's some um, screenshots coming up and I hope you enjoy them. And if you did like this video, please remember to leave a little like and any comments, feedback or just um, suggestions, just leave them down below in the comment section. I always enjoy reading what you guys think of my videos. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate that. And if you want to keep up to date with anything else that I'm doing on my channel, you can follow me on Twitter at Singing Simmer. And this build is available for download on the gallery under Singing Simmer 173. So thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you all next time. Thanks very much. Bye!
you were taking it in your stride.